Gentlemen, in three, two, one, go! As qualification match 14 begins, our Blue Alliance, the first time today that an alliance has done this, they are electing not to place hatch panels on all of the bays of their cargo ship. Two of those bays on their cargo ship, no null hatch panel, meaning that as the sandstorm period comes to an end, two pieces of cargo fall out onto the planet Primus terrain. Now that we are in our tally operated period, our Blue Alliance in the lead by just four points. And already our Red Alliance active with all three robots trying to close that gap. First action from the Red Alliance, thanks to Foximus Prime, they're able to place a hatch panel on the lower level. They're followed up with a quick move by Crobotics. They put not one, but two cargo pods up into bays. That's six points combined in less than six seconds for the Red Alliance. They now are in the lead and are extending that lead with a minute and a half remaining. On our Blue Alliance, Robot Casserole lining up to try to place a hatch panel on the middle level of their Blue Alliance rocket. Their partners, Monty Pythons and Robot Unibots, I'm sorry, over near the front of the cargo ship. Unibots lining up to try to place some cargo into the ship, but unfortunately the pod falls back onto the field. Monty Pythons over by the loading zone, lining up to grab a hatch panel from their human player. Less than a minute to go, the Red Alliance extending their lead, which is now over 15 points. The hard work of Foximus Prime, they've completely loaded the lowest level of the Red Alliance rocket and now working on the middle with 40 seconds now remaining in our match. Our Red Alliance cargo ship almost fully full. Six cargo pods stored in that ship with each of those worth three points. Our Red Alliance and Blue Alliance rockets are readying for liftoff with 24 seconds remaining. And as we enter our end game period, we can see robots on both alliances rushing back to their habitat zones. On our Blue Alliance, Robot Casserole attempting to drive themselves up onto level two with their big pneumatic tires. They've got a lot of bounce, but they're struggling to get onto that platform securely as we come to the end of our match. Congratulations to our Red Alliance for their qualification match number 14 win here at the FRC Midwest Regionals.